so we're, I'm just standing outside. Hello. Just standing outside. We're gonna go what they call island hopping today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Not my favorite thing to do. But it just the, the sun in the Philippines is very unforgiving. Let's put it that way. So we're supposed to be back by 12, 1 o'clock. We'll see how that goes. But we had a great breakfast. Um, you know, you got the coconut trees in the background. You got the blue sea. What could go wrong, right? You got Mr. Tahoe already here. Yeah. So, hello. We're on a rubber dock, plastic dock. Never underestimate the amount of plastic in the Philippines. <clears throat> Headed toward the boat. Think about retiring to the Philippines, your money goes a lot farther, that's for sure. We're going on our island hopping trip. I hope I've got enough sunblock on. I'm sure there's a lot more beautiful views to come today. I hope I've got enough sunblock on probably would uh, repel about anything insects small animals doesn't matter oh there we go there's the boat going on our island hopping trip beautiful day it's hot but i'm gonna make it beautiful beautiful Barakai. I hate the term not too shabby, but you know, hey, kind of applies here. Somebody fell overboard. No, it's just a worker. Uh oh. It's a rough crowd up there on the beach. This was just a little stop, just a little place to buy snacks here on the island. And uh, we just kind of messed around, took a few pictures, and then took off from just there. Just so happened there's a guy floating by with some coconuts. I'm sure it's a mere coincidence. That's pretty good. Getting choppy, but look at the color. All the dark shadows. A little beach over there. Yeah. Most of these little islands are sales opportunities for locals, so they're pretty though. There goes another unsuspecting group of tourists over there. They say we're going to have a lunch today, so. Looking forward to that. It's about a half a day trip. It's costing us about a thousand pesos a piece. Where are you going to go in America or anywhere else? If you get a boat like this, be on the beautiful water like this, all the different islands, $20 a piece includes lunch. Are you kidding me? 
about retiring to the Philippines, your money goes a lot farther, that's for sure. Very good. Okay. I've got I've got gravel in the now. in this little little rock formation of some sort. Let's get any nicer than that. That spot over here. It's in that little bit deeper water. But got my own rock wall. I don't have to bend down to get cool. <laughs> little guy from Sweden out there. He's been here 20 years. So, oh, there's a wind farm up right there on top of the hill. Probably can't see it with the GoPro. Maybe I can pull it in on uh, the editing software that I've got. Nice, beautiful day. Oh, he's got shoes on. That helps a lot. <laughs> this is the third stop. So we've got one more stop, which is lunch. I'll be sure to film that. And so it's, I don't know, probably, I'm going to guess 11 o'clock in the morning. We've been out since 
say eight in our boat right out to the first island. And we stopped once for swimming on an island, once for swimming in the ocean for people that had snorkel masks on. I really wish I had one. Uh, I'm going to get one for sure. They've got them now where you don't just breathe through your mouth, you just breathe. So I'm all for that. It was a, I did try one out. It's a, it's a lot easier setup for sure. Uh, but a good way to keep cool today. And I'll, I'll video the next time we stop and when we eat lunch and then when we get back. We're going to this swimming place and time to get back on the May Francis. Oh, the sand feels good out here. I've been walking on rocks. Yeah, I, I gotta have a way to track all my passwords. Everything needs a password nowadays. Yeah. But I have some that I've bought the same for years. I don't think they've been hacked, so I don't worry about it. You know? down there in the water. Command water shoes to walk on this sand. Really nice. You got a bar. We got 45 minutes here. So I'm getting to the shade first. Then, with a clear head, we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Pretty fun day. Life could be worse, right? For sure. It's a rough life, but somebody's got to live it. So we got to our final destination, and that is lunch. And look at the beach. Pretty cool. You know, I like the rocks. It's almost like they designed it that way, you know? <laughs> so we'll be back at lunch. I'm definitely investing in some water shoes. We'll be doing this next week, probably, when our American, other American friends come. But uh, sand against the skin, not a good combination. <laughs> but what a beautiful view. I mean, it's just total, total island life here in Barakai. A little walk on this one up on this little town I'm not sure what it's called I guess I'll find out got to find me some shade Tabon Port says municipality of Malay Katiklan so that's where we're at my wife patiently waiting on me I had to stop and take rocks out of my shoes I chose the wrong shoes. They're good shoes, but they don't they don't shield you from sand and rock. I should have just broke down and got some water shoes. I think I will. But I got more friends coming next week and we're gonna do this again. Oh the the burden that I bear being in Barakai. Abandoned place back here. But I have faith that it's going to be good. Because it will be. I know it will. I can smell smoked meats as I walk down this little path. Oh wow, what a line. What a night, what a crowd. 
Some of us have already been through. Okay, this is Rod Marsh. Anyway, Rod Marsh Tours. That's Rod Marsh. He's a tour co coordinator. You come to Barakai, definitely look up Rod Marsh. And this guy is really worth the trip. You ought to sign up with him for sure. Taking showers? We're taking showers. We're rinsing. <laughs> They're rinsing. We're rinsing. They're rinsing. We're rinsing. I'm gonna rinse. <laughs> Here we come back to the boat. It's called uh, Noi Francis. It says 10 packs, 10 people. A cute fish on the side. And then they help you out. I would say that the tide comes up here. Yeah. A lot of parasailing opportunities here. Diamond parasail. And we're almost back to Barakai. adventure opportunities and fun opportunities here in Baraka. Thus ends our Barakai day tour adventure. And yeah, that was really fun. Uh, really affordable too. So it was $20, 1,000 per head, $20 a head. Uh, you can't beat that. I mean, I don't know what time it is, 1.30, 2 o'clock. We've been out since about 7.30. And it's just amazing, amazing. That kind of time in the lunch it's worth twenty dollars by itself. So, until next time, I'll see you. This is Randall from the Philippines Project. Catch a YouTube time. video so you can look him up. Okay.